Well, we're back. It's that time of year again. You know what that means. That's right. It is May Google be with you, where we get to feature a new Google tip, trick, and tool every single school day for the month of May. I'm Trish, and I'm going to be your guide to this distant remote learning galaxy as I'm here on my home planet. Again, working day to day. It might not be as cold as Hawk, but it's still on the north side, so that's all right. We're going to have a lot of fun every single day with brand new episodes featuring different tools. If you joined us here last year, these are all new episodes, so you don't have to worry about repeats. And if you're just joining us today, you still have access to all of last year's episodes. So we're excited to get started. I'm going to do that right now with custom Google Classroom banners and emojis for topics. So I'm just going to turn this off. I could listen to it all day. No, we all could. Um, we're going to get started here right away. And so while these different um, video tutorials are not comprehensive, this is not Google Classroom training. Just know that if you need anything and everything Google, we do have it on our MTech Google support site, whether you're just getting started or ready to get geeky. Now in today's episode, I'm going to help you make a super cool Star Wars custom banner for your Google Classroom. And as well, how can we make those topics even more out of this world with emojis? So the first place we're going to be looking at is our custom banner in Google Classroom. Inside of Google Classroom, whenever you have your classroom, you can select your theme. There's 78 new themes available inside of Google Classroom for a vast array of different educational topics, and they are beautiful. But if you want to be able to customize your own banner, you can absolutely do that. And I like to do that simply inside of Google Drawings, and then I'm going to upload it. This is an example of a custom banner that I've made with simply using some word art, a colored background, and of course, some fun with my Bitmoji. But we're going to create one all together here. If you want a copy of my banner, feel free to grab it just below this video and replace it with your own images. I invite you to come and join me in creating a new banner by going to Drawings google.com and we're going to make a custom banner. Whenever you are designing in drawings, the first thing you're going to want to do is do your page setup so it doesn't mess up your writing. So we're going to go to File, Page Setup, and we're going to change it from this standard to custom. We're going to move away from inches into pixels, and the magic number for Google Classroom and Google Sites banners is 800 by 200 pixels, and now we're ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and change my background color. You can choose from a variety of colors and even do your own custom color, or you can choose from one of their gradients. I like the gradients because I'm feeling like this is looking a little kind of like stars. I like it. Now I get to go ahead and I get to put some words on the page. I like to be able to do this simply with word art. I can type whatever I want the name to be on my banner. Once you've typed it, you simply hit enter. If you made a spelling mistake or you want to change it, just give that a double click again. But now what I can do is I can select the font that I want. I can use the fill bucket to fill it with the color that I want. And I can even change the border. If I want a border, if I don't want a border at all, I get to choose. And of course, I can make that border stand out a little more if I want. I can line that up, and I like to use those red snap grid lines. As soon as you notice I'm dragging things around, that's letting me know when I'm exactly centered. Now let's get some images on there in addition to our font. But wait, what if I want Star Wars font? Well, for you, I've included a link to a site that allows you to be able to generate your own Star Jedi font right here on fontmeme.com. Simply enter your text. If I wanted, I can change it from that yellow outline to something else. It doesn't matter what you choose. And then I'm going to say Generate. And voila! Remote Learning with Rofi is ready to be able to put on my banner. When I want to embed that, I'm ready to be able to just copy the link directly to the image. And now on my drawing, I would say insert image by URL. I'm going to paste the link. And now that's going to be put right on my page. All right, I'm very much liking this. The last little thing I could do is I can insert some images to go along here. Do you bitmoji yet? 
I do love my Bitmojis. I have the Bitmoji extension installed. And did you know you can actually search for, you got it, Star Wars Bitmojis are available in here. So I could go ahead and choose one of those Bitmojis and just even drag it right down onto my drawing. And I can put this wherever I like. Now, cool tip and trick for you, you can resize your images with the shortcut Control-Alt-J, Control-Alt-K. That allows you to resize and move that around. So now I'm just gonna place it where I want. I'm pretty happy with my banner. So now what I need to do is I need to download it. So I'm going to give it a name and download it so that I can save it as a PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and say file, download, PNG. I'm going to choose where I want it saved. Now I can go ahead and go back to my Google Classroom and I'm going to say upload photo and I'm going to go ahead and select that photo from my computer right where I saved it. So I'm going to choose my banner. It's going to upload it. And there I go. Now, one of the things you're going to notice that makes people a little bit crazy, it does dull the banner a little bit and it can have things be covered. It has to be able to adjust it for readability. So maybe you don't want to do black like I did. You might want to do something a little lighter, make it brighter. Maybe put your pictures on the right hand side, but it's still a really neat way to be able to have some fun with banners in Google Classroom. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to talk about topics. If you haven't seen topics yet, well, topics are those titles that go above your different assignments and materials and quizzes inside your Google Classroom. Basically, it's your organization for your classroom. And you can see here for remote learning, we've chosen to make our topics be dates, just so that it's easier for students and parents to find out exactly what it is they need to do from the week to week basis. At any given time, you can drag around those topics to be able to move them around. I'm gonna put May 4th back up here to the top just so that it's a little easier for students to see. Now, I like being able to add some emojis to my topics. And so I can do that simply with the emoji feature built right inside my keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna edit and rename this topic. And now what I can do, any point that I wanna be able to put in that emoji, right click on a Windows machine, it'll see emoji, it opens up my emoji keyboard and I can choose which one I want to be able to add. So you can see here, I was able to hit the rocket, add it to my topic, and now I can be able to have it be fun and engaging for my students. I can even put one here on the end, choose another, there we go. Click rename, and there you have it. A fun way to make it engaging for students and visual for all of their different topics. Want even more fun with emojis? Well, I've given you the link to some Star Wars emojis and even a Star Wars emoji writing project that we had last year all at the bottom of this video. So thanks for joining us for episode one. We have an exciting month planned of a whole bunch of different tips, tricks, and tools. And may the fourth be with you. Bye, everybody.